Hey Sagittarius, um, we're going to do your weekly reading for April 7th through May 3rd. It's a general reading for <clears throat> Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. What, do you, what can you let go of right now to set yourself free? What unhealthy attachment do you have that's weighing so heavily that you just need to let it go? I'm going to do a three-card spread with the Oko Zen Tarot for you, Sagittarius, for April 27th through May 3rd for Sagittarius, please. Okay, for your past, you had kind of like the feeling of being um, excluded and being an outsider not feeling a part of the whole left out cold um but that changed what for your current per, present situation you took some you are or will be taking some time to regain balance for um and regain stability and clear your water um there are a lot of energies possibly in your mind or outside of you that are just like so busy and loud and disruptive and like just chaotic so you just take some time to turn in and clear your water so you can make clear um peaceful happier decisions not made out of suffering and then for your future you have participation which is another four you've got two four you got five four four and this is um, pretty much like working in harmony with the universe and those around you. Really stable action. Um, creating new beginnings. Uh, equal give and take. Just very harmonious participating with everything around you. It's really good. Let's see. I got, let me get a five card spread with my shadowscapes. See what else we got for this upcoming week, April 27th through May 3rd for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. And for your current situation, we have, yeah, five of swords in reverse, kind of like a long recovery, perhaps just coming out of like a long recovery or just going into it. But with it being in reverse, it's, it means it'll, it, it'll take some time to get a clear message from this, um, this time of introspection and turning in to like clear your water it's really important to reflect and see in your life what has worked what hasn't worked what's got you here and what hindered you what are you taking with you in the future and what are you leaving behind so when it's in reverse it means that this may take some time to to turn in and clear your water in your recent past, you had, like, some bullying and, like, competitive unfair, just, like, someone, like, ganging up on you, perhaps, making you feel like an outsider, or it is your own mind making you feel, like, bullying yourself, and I get that, um, it, it can totally happen, but turning in, that's what you're doing now, you're moving away from this, and your abilities this week... Um, Seven of Cups, you're able to see through temptation and illusion because there, there might be someone around you or just like your own mind perhaps. Like you see how like stable this is and you've got a good foundation, you've got your map out and then this person is like, well, hey, look over here. Look at how great that is. Well, how the heck are we going to get there? So you're being, you're able to see through a lot of illusion and temptation and make your own decisions based on what you believe is right because this is in reverse in your um, 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 abilities sorry <laughs> abilities position for this upcoming week 
and so that'll be that'll be really beneficial to you because you're clearing your water and you're able to to make clear decisions and not fall for a lot of like illusions pretty not all that shimmers is gold type of thing so and then for your love passions and interests we have ace of pentacles in reverse something might like be on hold something that you had like banked all your coin on maybe it just felt so perfect so it might feel like financial disappointment or you might be indulging in some um, financial wastefulness or like resource resource waste you know like wasting your resources or um, being materialistic or that someone around you in your love passion interest position however it resonates you know in your outcome and your outcome blessings the Sun many blessings like kind of fresh abundant energy refresh refreshed actually because you're yeah yeah success in your your ability to part there's a participation the success like abundance possibly children if that's something you know if you're married or with someone lots of joy bright bright radiant energy good health that's in your future. That's in your future because you're able to see through this temptation and illusion this week because you might be tempted by someone perhaps a little bit materialistic or greedy like, hey, look, let's go get these, these, this pretty spot over here. But you took time to reflect and uh, you don't need all that. You have so much abundance around you, and by thinking with an abundant mindset, that'll bring more. And you're that's participating in harmony with the world around you, and you participate in harmony with the world around you. The blessings are just coming and flowing and flowing and flowing. Can I clarify this then for Sagittarius, please? The hangman, yeah. You have adjusted your perspective completely. You're looking at things from a whole different perspective. You have total and complete trust because you took time to turn in and not only trust yourself, but trust the divine plan, divine timing, and everything. Whoever's coming in to t say, hey, look over there. You're like, uh-uh, look at this. Look at this. This is coming to me because I know what I have inside of me and I know what's coming to me and I trust in it. And that'll create a harmonious relationship. That'll create love and passion and a balanced, harmonious relationship and an equally emotional, an emotionally equal, like give and take type love. And someone's gonna feel like they got robbed. Someone around you just seems like they're like just greedy. I don't know. Like I don't know about material. Yeah. They just want to take from you. They just they just they have this um I don't know. I don't know how what to call the opposite of abundant mindset is, but they have this mindset that like they don't have enough and that's why they just don't have enough. So I'm glad you're taking the time to turn in and reflect on what's going with me in the future and what's not because that will really help you because you see how their palms are. Their palms are one up, one down, one giving, one taking. There's a harmonious give and take in your future. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, a harmonious give and take in your future. Abundant, trusting energy, but... <clears throat> someone's gonna feel like they left lost out on something because they thought you know they were trying they were there was an illusion there there was some kind of I don't want to say deception but like look over here at this shiny thing look over here at this shiny thing and it's like oh my god stop <laughs> I don't know this isn't enough you're not enough it's just okay I am enough take it or leave it um, I'm going to pull one medicine card for Sagittarius, April 27th through May 3rd for Sagittarius.
crow. Yeah, return to your inner magic. Number 24, if you're into numerology, definitely check that out. But yeah, crow is like magic. Um, turn it in, listening to your inner self, your inner law, knowing yourself, understanding yourself and what you believe, you know, your personal integrity, your personal will, what you believe to be right for yourself and for others. Be willing to walk your talk and speak your truth. Know your life's mission. Don't listen to this person. Like, you have your plans in your hand, do you see? You have your plans in your hand. Don't look at that stuff. You can't even get over there. There's no freaking ladder. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Someone just wants to take, 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 and, like, overindulge, and they just don't think anything's enough. And when you leave, they're going to feel robbed because you've got this, like, capable, you've got this ability to create harmonious relationships <clears throat> with the people you love and the people you work with and everything like that. You've got trust. You've got blessings. It's all good for you. Just don't fall for what's, you know, this week. You, you can see clearly through that. You, you took time to clear your water. It's all clear. The mud's, the mud's out of the way. All right. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week and see you next time.